our first guest is uh, one of the stars of the Dawson's uh, Creek program. She's also in a, a new film entitled Me Without You. It opens July 5th in selected cities. Just pray to God your city has been selected. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's the lovely Michelle Williams. You were, on the, you were on the show like three years ago or something, yeah, right? Yeah, it's been a little while. Yeah, how long have you been on the Dawson's Creek program? Five years. Five years, and you started, well, let me guess, you were like when you were 15 or 16 yeah, or something 16. like that? Yeah, 16. Is that right? So, you, so you, you're now, uh, you, you, know, you know, you can figure it out. You're now... <laughs> 21. 21 years old. Well, that, that's great because you, you went from like adolescence to, to young adulthood all on the... the, the all Dawson's. on television. Yeah, isn't that interesting, kind of, don't you think? And sort of unfortunate. I mean, I don't know if you want to capture 16 forever, but... I have. Yeah. Oh, so you, you still, you're playing 16 on the show? That's not right. No, 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 but when I was 16, I was on the show. Now I've aged as my character uh -huh. has aged. So are you the same age on the program as you are in real life? No, I'm a little bit older in real life. You're a little bit older in real life? No, why don't they, when will you ever catch up? When will this? <laughs> Never. There's going to be a constant discrepancy. Uh, so, so tell us what's going on on uh, Dawson's Creek. Uh, what is going on? I think that when it last left off, um, Dawson and I had just slept together for the first time. Wow. His virginity. Wow. There you go. And, and, and what, what's that like as, a, as an actor? And that's the, and that's the storyline. Do you, do you, is that something you look forward to? Is that something you think, oh, how, what are we going to do here? I mean, it's all suggested. I mean, you don't really see anything graphically depicted, of course, do you? No, of course not. Oh, I, I, wouldn't, no. I wouldn't think so. No, and it's... <laughs> well, I wouldn't think so. And yeah. it was on television, so sure, it was absolutely. on satin sheets, and it was lit by candles, oh, very and... Very nice. Yeah. yeah. Now, and, and is that what's... So you and, you and Dawson are now uh, uh, together, is that right? We were for a short period, but then we had to break up because I'm not his true love. You're not his true love? No. Well, what was this thing with the satin sheets? Sex. <laughs> oh, that was just sex. Oh, yeah, sex, that's all that was. <laughs> Yikes, a hootie. Um, and, and how much longer will you continue on the... How, how old is Dawson on the show versus his age in real life? Hmm, I'm not quite sure how old James Van Der Beek is, but I think we're all playing about 18 right now. I see. And how, how long will you continue with the program? I think it's one more year. We all had six-and-a-half-year contracts, and at the end of this next year, that'll fulfill... The obligation, and I haven't heard any talk of it. And, and are you uh, apprehensive? Uh, do you have trepidations about leaving? Do you want to leave? Are you excited? Are you eager to move on? Um, I think it's a mixture of both for everybody. Um, you know, I have grown up in Wilmington, really, and those people have become like family. Mm -hmm. So um, it'll be strange, but I'm excited to see like what ha like the way that my life and everybody's lives open up after this commitment is fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And and uh, and how is the creek? Is it? Uh, I mean, would there been a. <laughs> been a drought up here in the northeast and has it affected the the creek is it all right is no it's it... flowing just fine well that's good that's good um uh now uh, when, when you realized that you wanted to act for the first time what was what was your life doing then that's a clumsy way to express it but you know were you were you like just a little kid or did it come to you later or how did that happen um i was pretty young i was i remember going to see my first play when i was like eight or nine and what did it, was you go a, see? it was tom sawyer hmm. and it was like a children's production yeah. um but I just remember clinging onto the edge of my seat, very excited. And it's all that I've really been doing ever since. I've never done anything else. Yeah, so that's so you knew immediately. That's great. Now, have, have you ever met anybody in, in acting who, who never really quite knew the way you knew? Are you referring to something particular? <laughs> no, no, but you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, I, I haven't met many people in my life who uh, one day there was a moment when they realized, yes, this is what uh, I'm going to find fulfilling and rewarding, and I'll pursue this the rest of my life. You don't right. find many people for whom that has happened. I'm just saying, are there people in acting who are just in there, well, I guess, you know, this is what I'm doing now, but I don't know? I think so. I mean, I think I was, I, I mean, a lot of I think it's all right to not know what you want to do mm -hmm. at any point in your life, but I, was, I guess I've been lucky that it's just... Um, that's all I've ever really wanted to do. That was a pathetic question, wasn't it? It was a little hard to, it was a little hard to answer. I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. I know, I don't blame you. I, I don't feel I may have the Lyme disease. And where, where do you live now? You see, you spend, uh, when you're shooting the, the Dawson's Creek show, you're down there in uh, Wilmington, is it? Mm -hmm. And where, where are you living? Uh, is that where it is, full time? Yeah, it's there nine months a year, and then New York has become my oh. adult yeah. home. Is it, it must be great fun for you, huh? It is. It's an amazing city, isn't it? Yeah. What do you do in New York when you're here? 
What do I do? Well, I'm doing a play right now, um, so I'm working at night. And then during the day, I just, you know, I think I take advantage of the city the way everybody does, mm -hmm. taking the subways and walking around. Yeah. And... Go to museums and that kind of thing? Go to museums, yeah. Yeah, do you? Well, no, I'm here pretty much tied up with the show all day. <laughs> I, I, I have been to museums. I've been to many museums here in the city years and years ago when I, you know, had free time to go to museums, but I don't. And, <laughs> and, and, and the minute I get fired, I'll be going back to the museum. <laughs> The very minute. Uh, and you're a big Mets fan, I guess, huh? I've just become a Mets fan. Um, two of the guys that I'm doing this play with, Brian and Eddie, uh, are Mets fans, and I've recently become anointed. I have the hat. It's not the old school hat, but it's like the players' uniform hats now. We've gone to a couple games. Mm -hmm. We're into the Subway Series which is very exciting. It's interesting to be a part of something like that. And now you have like an affinity with anybody that walks down the street wearing a Mets fan and you immediately don't like Yankees fans. Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> I became, they persuaded me to be a Mets fan because they said that it's like um, the love of a good woman. Like the Mets lose so often that they'll break your heart, but you keep staying and staying and uh, staying when you should have left. <laughs> but that's, that's true, you know, with a lot, that's why a lot of baseball fans just hang on for, you know, generations. Yeah. And I think, but what happened to the Mets last night? Didn't they have some sort of heartbreaking defeat in late innings, some crushing home run that sent them back to the clubhouse? I don't know, I was working. Uh, Maybe I'm not that big of a fan. I guess not. Um, <laughs> what's the matter with me? Hey, tell us about, about the film. This is, oh, you, had a, you had to use an English accent for the film. Mm -hmm. That's got to be hard, isn't it? I did. I, I did something that could have borderlined on being obnoxious, but I stayed in the accent the entire time that I was in um, London. But I didn't have friends and family around, mm -hmm. so it wasn't... What, what is the accent? Person. Let me hear it. Did, oh, you, no, did, don't did, <laughs> did you have somebody teach you the accent, or you just heard it from being there? You learned it from being there? No, I had somebody who stayed with me the whole time, mm -hmm. and we did like vocal warm-ups in the morning and little silly exercises. Well, say say something in, in British. Wanker. <laughs> Wanker. <laughs> Wanker. Well, that's uh, certainly, certainly a lovely way to begin. But uh, did you find that, it, because I, I would guess, I don't know this, I'm not a linguist, but I would guess that it requires different facial muscles to talk with an accent. Did you find at the end of the day yeah. your face would get tired? What's the matter with me? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Um, but it's a lovely no, it's film. A perfectly valid Question. Is it really? Yes. Well, that'll be the first one tonight. <laughs> uh, let's look at the clip. Right, you know, let's. It's about it's about it's a it's a coming of age uh, story, as they say. Uh, young girls in uh, Great Britain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it carries the friendship through from when they're adolescents to when they're in their late twenties, um, and it's just the story of. Um, it's a really complex look at female friendships and about how they can be obsessive and manipulative as well as. Um, you know, lots of fun. And this is in our earlier stage. Is it like that yah yah sisterhood thing? <laughs> I haven't seen that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. The name of the movie, of course, is Me Without You. I really hope my city has been selected. <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun. Well, it's nice to see you again. Very nice Enjoy see your you summer too. in New York City and good luck, okay? Thank you. Come That's back fun. again. Michelle uh, Williams, everybody. We'll be right back.